Let this be the last of it. And I'm going to use this as one final answer. And also, it's going to help a lot of you guys out. I have prayerfully considered. And by prayerfully considered means taking the steps with the Holy Spirit, confirming everything. When even your Bible is tainted, something is horribly, horribly wrong. So I had to trace it back. And they say, stop, stop, stop. How did the Bible get tainted? I didn't say the Bible. I said her Bible. To trace it back to where it all began would take a lot of um, well I could the first time I was sitting in the driver's side seat I could tell somebody else had driven my van but we'll stop there <clears throat> because it was innocent Monica that's the witch And it came out while she was here, but I have a video confirmation of a person named Monica was involved when I was attempting to get a cell phone. And that was gonna be the confirmation that I could get in contact with my wife. I was at the Red Lion Suite led there by the Holy Spirit, escorted there. It was paid for for me. It's exactly where God wanted me. And I delivered the video letter to the Church of Philadelphia. During that time, my wife and I were texting and I said, did you meet anybody interesting? And she said, Monica, she's respectful and I like her. I said, I don't know her. That's how deep this goes. This is why I said what I said, beloveds. My wife being the caring, compassionate, at least Shiva that she is. The Esther, the Harasa, my queen. That was actually perfect pronunciation. Yes, yes it was. Take a bow, Jesus Christ. Now, I do aim to be entertaining, but profound at the same time. My wife tells me she's been praying. I said, babe, one will be taken. One will be left. You're the one that's being taken. Come up here now. We had a phone call. I was talking directly to my wife. My wife was back to being herself. I explained everything. I explained the entire situation. So I've been... Um, walking with my prophets and I was confirming something <laughs> because uh, all of my prophets were lighting up a witch, a witch, a witch, a witch, and then two counterfeits. And my baby, Elishiva, has prayed, please show him that I'm in love with him, that I love him, Give him a sign. And it happened. Now I was um, led to watch one of my prophets and 
She's from the tribe of Judah. She speaks with more of a modern day dialect. I'll say that. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Can we just be real? Like she speaks more like I usually do because this is how my people speak. So she was like, well, I was about to pop off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and she was, she broke it down about Jezebel and um, what was happening that she was given a chance to repent over and over and over again. And she kept repenting, but going back to plotting behind people's backs over and over and over again. Now God had finally had enough. All of that leaked into my wife. So then sever that connection. And my wife has been fearful a lot of times because she knows if I do something, it happens in the spiritual realm and in the natural. So I was trying to pinpoint who casted this spell on us. So I had to be quiet for a long time and let it just play out. First, I wanted to see the impact. My wife fell into a bad crowd again. So I remove any judgment, and I have, I said that my wife would not be counted with the transgressor, with a uh, plural S at the end. And I had also told her many things, but um, that her friends are not her friends. So when she was here, she carried the spirits of the people she interacted with. And she was gone for five months. So that's a lot of uh, darkness to be bringing in here. The spiritual realm is that real. That's why many of my prophets and myself, we have preferred to be alone and not really speak to too many people. We're normally attacked or told we're the problem if we um, interact with people too long. So we learn to kind of touch and go. If there's a word for somebody, we would give it. If I told them, help that person, we would do it real quick. There's been a very precise strategic plan in place to get my people around the enemy that surrounded them while they were sleeping. I hear someone saying, this is exactly what happened. So my prophet confirmed that I've had enough and I already made the videos about this. So then we had to kind of um, show it to my wife about this is why we don't just talk to anybody. My wife, I'm not gonna say naive, but very caring, very giving, uh, very loving. So I'm not gonna call it a Jezebel spirit because I don't like using terms that are not easily found in scripture. I'll call it what it is the familiar spirit, with a lying spirit. So one way that I um, taught my wife exactly what standing she has with me is if I start using your real name instead of a nickname or a name that I've given you, then I'm getting standoffish towards you because what I'm telling you is you are leaning more towards the side of you that is going against the Holy Spirit. But I put her name in these videos so she knew specifically that this was for her. That I was at the point where I was going to be um, making sure that she believed every word that I was saying.
Now, when you don't know what's going on behind your back, this is how dark the world has become. This is something the church, uh, the den of thieves can't touch on. Rather than vague comments, my prophets are going in depth for you. It will resonate with you in your language. And it's your path. So I've been walking with you and doing the same exact things. So the explanation I'd rather come out than um, re-talk about what I already know. And begin again. But I was waiting till I heard what the spirit just told me in the shower. So, you know, it's official. She's 100% back to Elishiva. Now, using that. <clears throat> accountability and repentance. Don't be like those that repent and then it's too late for them. So there's the two counterfeits. The woman you were with the demons and the woman I married I'm in love with and always knew you are. All right? I love you. Alicia Bach.